What's up guys, Meredith with Extreme Terrain and today we are checking out the Cali Raised LED Catalytic Converter Shield fitting all 2016 through 2023 four-wheel drive at Toyota Tacomas. Now I do want to mention right up front that this will not fit with the manual transmission so just keep that in mind when you're checking this product out. Nonetheless, if you have been or want to avoid being a victim of catalytic converter theft, this system will be right up your alley. Now this kit will allow you to sleep better at night knowing that your cats have an extra layer of protection to keep them safe and sound underneath your truck. Now these will have a full coverage design and come with shields for both the driver and the passenger side so you're protected all around. Now the design of these will essentially cradle the cat so you can't access it through the side and they're going to have circular cutouts or a circular hole design throughout the bottom of the plate. Now those cutouts won't just be there as a cool style feature but they'll provide some heat dissipation so there's no excessive heat soak underneath the truck and if you're taking your Tacoma off-road through mud and dirt they are going to provide a drainage point so they're not going to keep a ton of buildup behind the shield. Now Cali Rays LED also states that these are going to work with about 99% of all other skid plates on the market so no need to worry about mixing and matching when it comes to this set. Now these shields are gonna be tough and very rust resistant because of the materials, which is fantastic, especially if you're taking your Tacoma off-road or live in a wetter climate and they're mounted up underneath your truck. Now, these will be made of a 12 gauge 304 stainless steel material. So again, you can ensure that no matter what terrain or condition that you're taking your Tacoma through, these are gonna hold up for the long run. Now they're also laser cut and CNC bent for a uh, premium fitment. So they'll look super good, even if a thief is underneath your car, take a look at them but it's going to deter that thief now these will bolt on with no drilling or welding as well so even if you did want to pop them off and clean them after a trip you can 100 do so now these will come in at about $250, which isn't bad at all for what you're getting in my opinion. Now these are extremely well made. They have a high quality material and build that will hold up for literally whatever climate that you live in. And best of all is that these are going to completely cover and protect those precious cats underneath your truck. Now replacing your cats will honestly be more of a hassle and a lot more expensive than this kit. So in my opinion, if you're worried about that theft, then these are gonna be the move for you. Now, install will be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter and should only take you about an hour to get both of these bolted up. Now, speaking of the install, one of our customers here has put these on their Tacoma and is gonna walk you through what that process looks like and what they look like underneath the truck. So that is going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into that install. Okay, tools required for our install are gonna be a impact driver, a drill, a swivel adapter, for our, some of our tighter spaces, a 14 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, an impact adapter, in our case we're going to be using it because our impact need, requires an adapter, a bit adapter for our drill, which is optional, you don't have to use it, the supplied security bit, which can be also directly attached to your drill if you so wish, a screwdriver, a combination wrench, 14 millimeter, any torque wrench with a minimum torque value of 15 foot pounds. Hello guys, today we are going to install the Cali Rise Cadillac Converter Shield set. When you get your shield, you're going to get a driver's side, a passenger side, four washers, four security screws, two rubber grommets, and a security bit. We're going to install it on a 2023 to Toyota Tacoma SR5. Already have the vehicle jacked up. Okay guys, first step in installing your, your catalytic converter shields is gonna be to install your two grommets. Grommets are gonna go into this hole with the large side facing towards the vehicle, which the current rotation we have it in is gonna be facing the vehicle. So we're just gonna press it in recommend using a flathead screwdriver or a um, pick to help get it through and we're just going to turn it over and then we're just going to work on just getting it through there we go sometimes it just likes to be a little stubborn 
there we go and that's kind of what you're looking for and we're going to do the same thing now on the next one now I'm going to do a little bit of it off camera so you may not see me doing it on the second shield so just bear with me Okay, and we got it now installed on the second one. This is kind of what the back's gonna look like. Um, doesn't have to be pretty as long as it's there. For the install of our catalytic converter shields, what you're gonna see on a stock truck, which is what we have configured right now, is you're gonna have a crossbar that goes underneath your catalytic converter, your transmission support bar, which is supporting your transmission, and right now, our cal converter is currently exposed so what we're going to do is we're going to use these shields to cover it up we're going to start off by using our impact and a 12 millimeter socket and we're going to take off four bolts you have two here and you got two right up front For our last bolt, we're just going to loosen it and we're just going to swing it over to make install just a tad bit easier on ourselves because this bar is actually what's going to support up the majority of the shield. We're just going to loosen it, push it out of the way. We're going to swap to a 14 millimeter socket. We got two. We got two bolts. We got that across through our transmission support bar, and then we're gonna loosen these nuts, and then we're gonna loosen this side, and then from there we will slide it, the cover, the shield right over. So let's get it. And then we're we're gonna use our combination wrench to pull the other side. If it's too small or you don't have enough room like we do because of our exhaust and all the stuff coming off the exhaust you can go with a longer 14 millimeter socket which is what we're going to go with just to make e just to ease and uh, install Let's get a swivel. Let's get our swivel adapter. Okay, we are going to tackle this from this side. That's because it won't fit. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're these bolts we don't want to move them all the way or else you're going to drop your transmission on your face if you are while you're in the vehicle we're going to take our shield now you have these two lips these two lips are going to slide or come over let's get that more out of the way real quick And it's going to slide right up. From here, we're going to use the bolt that is for adjusting our, I want to say our cast, our uh, camber. We're going to let that bolt just kind of hold this in place while we get these bolts uh, tightened down. So let's go ahead. Let's start doing that. Done in the right way. Okay, let's tighten up these. So while we got it like that, we're just gonna push it up. One hand on the impact and let's Okay, one of the bolts tighten. Now 
everything is sort of being supported right now by that one bolt and let's go ahead and let's get the second bolt tightened down it is going to be a challenge so we're going to attempt to use our swivel and a crest and our combination wrench and let's get this tightened and then we're just gonna give this bolt just a couple turn a couple more turns just to make sure it's snug and it doesn't come off. Just because of the nature of these bolts and the fact that they're holding on our transmit hope oh, they're help holding up our transmission. We don't want them coming off. That'd be bad. Uh okay. Manufacturer torque specs for these bolts is going to be 30 foot pounds. Torque specs for our cross member, our cross member which we're going to reattach, is going to be 15 foot pounds. So once we're done, we will go ahead and we will, ins once we're done getting everything installed, we'll get that all squared away. First things first, let's get these security screws in place. You may need to reposition yourself while getting them in, just so you can see what, where they're going. Okay. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take this off. We're gonna put it in our input. And we're just gonna snug down these uh, screws in our impact, with our impact. They are torqued, so you won't have to worry really about stripping them out. Okay, and to finish it up, we'll just take one of our one of our remaining nuts, one of our screws. So you're going to have two screws left once you're done with each side so you'll be left with a total of four of these bolts you can always save them if let's say you decide you don't want to run the catalytic converter shield you can always keep them that's all set driver's side is done driver's side is going to be your hardest side to do just because of the nature of your exhaust and everything being right here at those bolts um, so just be aware that it's going to be a little bit challenge. Um, if you have a way to get a torque in here, a torque wrench in here to snug them up to, to their spec, go ahead and do that. So that is going to wrap it up for my review and the install of these Cali Raised LED catalytic converter shields. Fitting all 2016 through 2023 four wheel drive automatic Toyota Tacomas. And remember for all things Tacoma, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.